Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and we start today's video with a train arriving in Merryport with a little bit of a bump in the in the junction. That bump is so annoying, I'm going to have to do something about that before I do anything else. But yes, we start in Merryport, which is where we ended last video. And what we did in that is that we... Why is that train leaving already? That shouldn't be happening. Anyway, we had a ride along. We did a little bit of detailing, finished off a few things here and there, and just got this, this town connected to the main network. Now, of course, I did say in that video that... For the next few videos after this, I want to focus on something slightly different, a rival railway, if you will. So in this video, that is what I'm going to be starting to focus on, and this is going to be sort of a multi-part thing. After the intro, I shall show you what the plan is, and just get started with that plan as quickly as I can, because there is a lot to do and not so much time i suppose to do it in so if you want to see that make sure you stay tuned and of course if you do like these videos click on the like button subscribe to the channel and do leave a comment with your thoughts suggestions and opinions i would really appreciate that let's get started let's get building a rival railway and let's figure out also if before any of that I can lower this road just a few centimetres. Okay, first things first, as I said, I'm going to lower this road a few centimetres. Uh, that's one down. Let's just bring it down 10 centimetres just to see if that helps. That actually, that actually has it a little bit lower than I would want it. So let me select this one and do something similar, but bring it down seven centimeters. No, that's, does that work? I guess. I'll select the other one again and bring it up three centimeters just have a look it is a little difficult to to see but that is a little bit better oh wait this thing has not this thing is waiting good are you just waiting for a free path what is going on here We seem to have some issues with with trains unable to go where they need to be going. You have a free path. What are you waiting for? You're stopped. Oh, you are okay. I understand. You are there, then you are waiting there, then you are waiting there. These are just trains that are caught in a queue. That is fine. Okay, let me go over to the place that I was going to work on in the first place. So we can begin here. So Sudbury is where we are going to begin. As you can see, all the farms around this are done. But going towards Kingsbridge, the farms are not done. So step one is going to be to get at least this section of farmland completed right now in this episode right in front of you on camera it should not be too much because a number of it is or a number of parts are already done so that is what i need to do following on from that i am going to have to do the the farms to taunton if i get a chance i shall do that and there's now an ice cream van outside this ice cream van will go past it will it will come around the corner and it will blast its its melody coming around the corner nobody ever I, it, there it is, it's going past, and there it goes. Oh, and it switches off, I suppose there's nobody around. Uh, I'm not sure... Yeah, oh, there it goes again. Well, hopefully you cannot hear that too much. Right, so, 
I'll go across here to Kingsbridge and then we'll do the Taunton part in, in another part. We also have, of course, this entire part, Stratford to do and Chagford. So I'll have to have a look at that as well. The other thing that I really need to consider doing is setting up bus routes between these towns as well, because that would make a big difference. But for now, I need to focus on what I said I was going to focus on. What is that? I have never seen these. No houses. Wow. What? What is this? Conveyor belts for bulk cargo. Oh, of course. I have to figure out how to use these because this could make a huge, huge difference to what, um, what I... I'm going to be able to use it for because there's um do we have the building for it? that we do conveyor belt station see this is going to change absolutely everything I would say uh, for for how I build up the coal mines and this is what I was waiting for but for now as I said I need to focus on what I am focusing on Getting distracted, find the right road. There's so many things have changed. Uh, weed and azalea bushes, there they are. Okay, let us begin. So this area, I think, is absolutely fine. Nothing needs to be changed here. This side probably needs to be done. So let's go ahead and begin with this. Uh, could I just do a parallel track? No, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, because we now have working parallel, uh, the parallel roads mod works perfectly. If I need to, I can just, I can just trace those, trace this all with the parallel roads mod. Now I haven't yet decided exactly what I want to do with these. So initially, I put these in as something to denote uh, streams, but realistically, this. I mean, there may not be streams here. I could just put a whole bunch of uh, trees there. It, it could be anything. I'm just thinking how, what the best option is going to be for me to try and do this. And this is something I'll, I'll probably, I will probably have to detail sometime in the future. Um, not, not yet, because I could spend a very, very long time doing this. And obviously, I have to, unfortunately, I do have to think about the entertainment value of these, of these videos. And if you, if you do want to see this sort of stuff, then please let me know and just say, no, no, we want to see these, you, you putting all these streams and things in, uh, and it taking a, an extreme, a, an extremely long time. Uh, could I just do this? No, I'm going to do it like that. Then I shall sort out this bit just along here. And yes, then if, if that is what you would like to see, then I shall go ahead and, and create those kinds of videos. But the other thing is, of course, I have to consider... I, I was going to say my own sanity, but... These things do take an incredibly long time. They can be rather tedious and I do have to keep things going and I cannot continue this series for, I don't know how many episodes it could be. Currently we're on what, episode 100 and 105, something along those lines, which is quite significant if you, if you really think about it that if these episodes have been going on once a week, let's say, uh, at once a week, episode 105, that means that this has been going for oh, two years. And that is not a a small amount of time. That That is quite a significant, quite a significant period of time, really. Uh, I think... I did begin this in 2000 and I think it was 2020 actually that 
2020-2021 when I began this series. Uh, obviously I've been playing Transports Fever 2 for quite a lot longer and then of course the predecessors are uh, Train Fe or Transports Fever 1 and Train Fever as well as, as the predecessors. So I have been playing a lot of this title and it is, uh, I will again reiterate that this is a very very good title in terms of what it can give you the replayability that the modding community on it is is excellent so in that sense yes this is it is very good but just how much of this title can i actually play is is the big question that seems to look okay in this area uh, i will break this bit up, let's break it up just here and I'll just try to make a fairly simple one there continue this along but this one will I suppose peel down a little like so and then I shall, I shall do this oh collision, okay But yes, the, the mods for for this title have been extremely, extremely important to the longevity of said title. Uh, without, I think without the mods, you would not have, you would not have had, you would not have had this title uh, in, in the slightest uh, last this long. This is something that that was not what I wanted to do. This is something that is, I think, important nowadays to most games. Uh, if you if you have a game and it can be modded, that gives it a depth that perhaps other games that cannot be modded just cannot replicate. It is pretty much. Uh, impossible and I'm, I'm trying to think of any games unmodded that still hold up to this day as viable games that you can just pick up and play with no mods now real-time strategy games are probably the exception to that so for example despite the fact that I do when I play Age of Empires I do play it modded I can just pick it up unmodded and be perfectly all right with it. So I suppose that is the the exception, right? That is that area done. So we're getting there already. Um, very, very quickly getting through these things. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do this. There we go. I think that should probably be a, a better better option here and then along here I suppose I can just do this as well so yes I could play Age of Empires without mods but I, I do choose to play it modded because well modded Age of Empires is just better it, it really is just a, a better experience Overall, I would say. Other titles that you could play unmodded. See, I do not think you could play titles such as Skyrim or anything unmodded after after all of these years. Uh, you, you play it once unmodded, and then you, you would have to put mods on. There, there's really no no choice. Um, the the mods just make the title so much better. I suppose PlayStation games, you could go back to them unmodded, but how often do you go back to a PlayStation game? It isn't something that has a massive replayability. You'd, you'd play it, I think, for me, I would play, so I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy, and I have yet to finish it. I, I have not had time over the past uh, few weeks. But I think 
once I have finished it, I'll do a bit of perhaps trophy hunting on it. I think I already have the majority of the trophies, but I shall probably do a bit of trophy hunting and then be done with it. I'm not sure what else I, I could really do with, with, with the title because that's it. As I said, what, once it is done, it is essentially done. There, there really isn't much else to to do. Um, so thinking along those sorts of lines, what, what PlayStation title would I return to? Uh, Kingdom Hearts, I, I've done that a, a couple of times, but again, that isn't something that... Okay, well, today seems to be busy, doesn't it, down past my road. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is, is a title I, I've played a couple of times, but I, st I have yet to play Kingdom Hearts 3, for example. Uh, I've, not, I've not done that. And if I were to... If I were to play that, what I will do is start from from the first Kingdom Hearts and just play through the entire series. But I suppose that would be the only time I I play through a series is if there is another game in in said series, then I would look at it and say, oh yes, actually this this may be a a good time to a good time to play 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 the games and refresh my memory, refresh the story. And also, for me, it would be a good time to then analyse what has changed between the games. So I'd be able to look at this and say, OK, they, they improved this, they they improved that, but this is the same or that is the same, or they managed to keep this style or, or whatever. So I think Transport Fever 2 is, is one of few games that has quite a bit of replayability. Again, as I said, if this didn't have mods, perhaps I would not be playing it. I certainly would not be doing this. This series would not have lasted anywhere near the length that it has. So there is that to be said about the mods. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, there is definitely that to be said about the mods. This this series would have been long over uh, without without mods. And I think I did I did at one point attempt to play. Did I do? No, that had mods as well. I, I was just thinking about Transports Fever Two: The Great Lakes. I believe that was that may have been modded. Two. So yes, but again, that that series did not last anywhere near as long as this one. I'm still, as has been pointed out, in the Victorian era, in in this in this particular in this particular um playthrough. If I go around here and then do that. And go around here and do that. Perhaps bring this in a little, then out this way. I'm not making this absolutely perfect to the to the border, and the reason for that is that I'm going to use this to to help me make this look a little better. Now I'm thinking the railway probably should be on this side. So I'm, I'm going to do the row on this side simply because I want it as far away from that border as possible. So having it on this side down the hill, see that gives it just that little bit more as opposed to being up here where you can sort of see the border. So just just bringing it down here just gives it that little bit extra uh, interest. And then maybe I, maybe I could even get it to tunnel a little through this section, which could be interesting. So I want to get this this lump here done. This lump here maybe does not matter quite as much, 
but certainly this, this lump here does. And as I said, this is going to be a, a multi-part uh, a multi-part video or a little mini series within within what I'm doing just because well, this is going to take a little bit of time. As as all good projects do, I say all good projects do, as if this is a good project, this may be a, a, a terrible idea. Um, one does not know. If I connect, right, if I do this, I have an idea. If I do that and try to connect it up with this bit, hey look, that sort of worked. Shocking. Uh, and then over here I can do this, I can bring that out and no. Watch the uphill, let's do that. Of course we are very close to Kingsbridge now. That does not look too bad. Um, along here I would like to do this. Oh, hang on. I have an idea. I could do this and just have a little extra bit just there. Oh, well, now wait through the autosave because the autosave always ruins things. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm not clipping in, in this, in, um, in this video i'm trying so i've been making a number of adjustments to my to my microphone and i i am attempting and really trying not to clip and to get this sending out the signal exactly as i want it to it has taken a few videos for me to get it right i thought i had it right in the euro truck simulator the in the latest video that's come out and then I was recording another video for a, for a couple of weeks' time for Euro Truck Simulator, and it wasn't correct in there. So I thought, well, okay, I've made a I've made a mess of that. Annoyingly, uh, this bit I could just do something really wonky and just do not that that there is wonky, and then there is that. That is a, an unacceptable amount of wonk. There we go. So this this gives it just a it, it makes it look like we, we were working or people have built their farms around this forest that existed a quite a significant period of time before the farms. And of course the farms have eaten away into into the forest but left certain sections of it as as woodland. Right. So over here, this is where it doesn't really matter how I do this because this bit could could all be changed. In fact, what I could do is I could just start, just for the sake of it, I can start it like this and then do this. There we go. So that gives us just a little bit little bit more to play with like an extra little farm area and then all I need to do is this little bit here so if I grab this one and continue this along that works I would grab that one but that's useless and then what I'll try to do is try to align myself a little bit with these so like that we have an uphill section which may cause this farm to just tip down a little and then go along here instead then we have this bit which I shall do that to and what I'm going to do is instead of going around this is going to peel off in this direction and oops and join up here instead. There we go. And that gives us opportunities and options to use these 
to come straight across and connect up oops there and there and similarly I can use this one in fact what I'll do here is I'm actually going to I've used that but I'm going to delete a certain section of it that's going to be this section is going to be deleted and instead I'm going to push this section back and it's going to be pushed back and connected up to here with a split in the farm just here that bit can remain as it is and there we go that is all of that completed very good uh, should we do this bit I think I can do that bit later the first the important thing is obviously as I said to get we need to get this all connected as quickly as possible so this gives us the options to to connect this first section what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some roads is it these roads possibly it is not which roads are there I, I can never figure out which roads these are supposed to be it's that one city old city old two-way what is the difference between that I have no idea I actually have no idea but there we go I shall build these so the way we can do this is we're going to look at how these roads would be built so we've got I think that is a valid that is a valid build right there and of course it has been a long time since I've built any of the roads and if we have a look at any of these there is a there is a certain distance that we need to give between roads in order to enable them to build housing properly so I need to where is it Croydon gives me a good spacing on these so that is just a little bit too little so it's 43 meters it's just a little bit less so I try to do say 50 meters as our gaps where is it where is it Sudbury New Kingsbridge so if we try to do something like 50 meter gaps straight line gaps that is so let's say 50 meters is that so from that tree we could then build and this is how the roads would would work similarly I, I can always do this so I'd bring this out oops no bring it out straight to begin with and then curve it that way but as a good idea I could do this and then just have a few you could just build a few houses just out here along this road along this section there and then roughly here so I'll give it a little bit a little bit more space it doesn't really matter if it isn't if these houses are slightly further apart than they need to be I'll do that and then I shall do this doesn't have to be all straight and perfect and and working as as you would expect so I'll do that in fact what I'll do is I'll, I'll pause this so that it doesn't ruin the way I'm trying to design this road and then we want it to follow along here so we could have a a road that perhaps follows this course out here and then will come across this way and then back across that way and 
something along along these lines. There we go. So we'll do that, and then inside here you could always have your your normal. There you go. Your ninety degree. Oh, come on. Say ninety degree. That isn't quite ninety degrees, is it? If I do a straight one, that should give me the option. There we go. So you could do that, and then similarly in here, we could do the same sort of thing. You probably want to, if we give it more, more space here, have that join up right at the end there. But also, we can put this sort of connection here and is that going to be enough of a gap here gets rid of that little corner there we go so now as you can see there, there is some sort of it is starting to give us a little bit more of of the design that we are after and then I could always do a curved junction like that and then this bit becomes well we'll have to see what's what becomes of of that bit but certainly I could do something along here and build up a little section in here connect that out there and see how how that builds perfect that seems to really work for me at this point in time so that's kingsbridge ready now what we need to do is of course lock all of these uh, because none of these are oops None of these are locked. Oh, there is a way. There's a better way to do this. I keep forgetting. Uh, tools lock. There we go. Make sure every one of these roads are locked because that is super important. What I also need to do is plug in my battery for my laptop so that is also super important otherwise this recording is going to end very prematurely and there we go surprisingly my laptop still manages to to record half an hour over half an hour down from 80 percent recording both video and audio for for a laptop that has been absolutely battered that shockingly good still there we go that looks reasonable now we could do the same sort of thing to Sudbury so I'm going to build some streets in in Sudbury do not press the upgrade anyway um, again I guess I could do there we go so These ones are not going to be perfectly straight at all. But that, again, that is okay. There we go, I'll, I'll do that. Should I just continue with loads of these sorts of lines? Uh, I mean, it is kind of what you would expect out of, out of a town that is growing. Maybe not, so perhaps here instead you do. Oh, I know what I can do here. I know exactly what I can do here. If I can get this to hit 90. 90.3, okay. And I can get this to hit 90. Eighty nine point four ninety. There we go. Ninety there, and then bring that straight back down. And now we have one of those little 
uh, let's say a cul-de-sac, but we, we get this in the UK. And then if I really wanted to, I could just do that. But no, I'm going to leave that as, as it is right there. Of course, I've now made it uh, more difficult for me to figure out where to put the railway line, but that's okay. That happens. Uh, similarly, out here, I guess I could work on a completely different angle to these. And say, look, I'm going to do... No, no, not that. I'm going to... Oh, well, do that then. There. And inside here, we, we could also do the exact same exact same thing so we've got that and then the ability to place houses there and there and then also have some housing just along this border not quite connecting to that road but just along the border hang on I'm going to neaten this bit up There we go. So that is that bit of Sudbury done and that bit of Kingsbridge done. Let's go ahead and figure out where the station is going to go. Now, I may have made a complete hash of this. Also got to figure out as a plan, obviously this would not be something that is an actual plan, but I've got to figure out exactly where we bring the station in from when it connects up from Shepshed. So realistically, if I were to put the station here, it is on a bit of a diagonal and then we could just bring the, the train line in that way, or we could just demolish this station and completely rebuild it with a whole new setup. So that is what I'm going to do. Buildings. Uh, what? Oh, I've, I've seen that before. It's this one. It's this one. It's so many stations. I forgot about these. Just old, old stations. I mean, realistically, this this would be correct. This 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 would be. An accurate station. 80 metre tracks, 80 metre trains going going off, doing what they need to do. And being built at, well that's just an old station. We have underground stations, open cut stations, which are, I've said before that I do not like. Uh, what are you, track helper? No. It is these. I could just do this. It's uh, an old station. Again, I could just, I could also do a whole set of GWR stations for this, for this lot. Because these look incredible and we, we have not used them in the slightest. So if I were to just have the station plonked in right here, in fact, I'm going to put the station right there. There you go. It, it does look as though it, it is just going to be part of, part of the architecture. There's the station. And we shall continue on our way. Uh, I'm going to configure the these of course we're going to put 25 mile per hour tracks in as as it should be before anything we do anything so that is that bit done now let's look at the station in Kingsbridge and honestly the place where I I see a station being able to go. It's just here. I see this as being a a reasonable location for stations. This is a station location. 
here or or here but i think i think here so that is where i'm going to put it we could build a station up to 120 meters any bigger and it would be a problem yes and any bigger and we have a problem unless i put the station just here which would also be viable yes I, I could put the station here that's a viable place to put one off off the side street or off the main road if i do it off the main road something like that you could then have other things on the side street and then the railway would continue th through that section um let's just build it just a little bit out of the way well, we've got this this rivery thing that i had so there is that as well or i could build it now there is a bad idea and i do not want to build it slap bang in the middle i want to build it a little bit away see i think i think we could build it there here seems reasonable but then so does here and here so I'll do it here. This will do. I shall have to rework this whole river kind of area. Just figure out what I'm doing with it. But uh, if I were to do it like so, that is the station. We could have a bus stop, I don't know, just here to, to pick people up. And then all we have to do is connect these two together. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Before that, before I do that, we need to figure this one out. This, this station is one I'm a little bit concerned about, I will admit. Just, just the way in which I've, I've built it. I'm just not sure about it. But in the future, what would happen? You're going to end up with a station that is going to be limited to 120 meter trains, which means this will have to be a branch station. You're going to be unable to put large trains. Do you know what? I'm sure future me will be able to deal with with that and and a re a rework of of how that all goes F future me can can figure that out right a 60 mile per hour track sure and let us begin one building will be removed sure Now, as I said, this is going to be a bit of a downhill and then we want to be on this side of the track, so, or this side of the road. But the problem is we have no way of, well, actually, no, we do, because we can cross the road however we want. It would then be the roads, it would be the roads responsibility the road's responsibility, yes. It'd be the road's responsibility to... Oh, that is poor. Why is this so high up? Hmm. Uh, it's... I shall... I shall figure that out. It shall be the road's responsibility to figure out how to... How to cross back. Yes. So I can... I can do that if I want to. Not a problem. And then 
I shall work my way through. And this is all quite a steep descent, but I have an idea. I do have an idea. So to end this video, this is what I'm going to do. Then if I run alongside this a little, this bit's here. Yes, I shall run alongside that. Okay. This is all, oh, hang on. I do not need this double track the whole way. But this much double track should be okay, yes. And then after that, single track, please. Can I cross over this first? Let's cross over first. There we go. This bit sharper. That works. And we will just roughly, I do mean roughly, follow this, this path through there, along here, stay on this side. Okay, now at this point, what I want to do is grab the segments here. We're going to start over here and I want to end. End over here. And I want to equalize this entire ramp. Please work. Did it work? Has it worked? Just thinking about it. There we go. Done it. So there we have a very smooth consistent drop and then it cuts in here ah so instead of that what i could do there is a bit of there is this bit but i suppose the the idea of a gradient being equal the the whole or for, for a majority is important. That that is quite important. So yeah, well, why why are you there? Go away. I said go away. Go away. Oh dear. Um right. I do need to get a move on and finish this video. Let's go across here. Yes. And now, so at this point, we are fairly low down. But we are managing. Ah, this is where things need to change a little. So we are managing to work our way through. And we want to keep this now fairly flat. But of course, that would mean the river or the stream has to go above us. Aqueduct. Not, not entirely ideal. That is not ideal. So what do I do? Could I try to do this at the very least? Then, of course, I'd have to just dig up. I was going to dig a stream anyway. So I suppose that makes no real difference if the whole stream thing happens. That is, uh, let's go through this bit. Can I keep this sort of flat? Can. And then 
Will it come back out at a reasonable place, though? I shall have to figure that out. It does not. And this is, again, one of those bits where you look at it and you think, is there a better way for me to be able to do this? Realistically, there may not be. Can I just have it go uphill very gently? And then level out at the top. Run alongside the road. Leaving plenty of room for the road to, to grow, of course. Uh, I would say that is quite a bit of room for, for the road to grow. So I'm going to have to figure this out. And then we are crossing this road. And then this bit is all okay. No, no issues here whatsoever. And now I need to figure out where I am going. I need to go across and turn, which I can do. So I can do this. Like so. And all, all the work that I've done to get this these farms in is now all sort of destroyed. But that's okay. I mean, that, that was the point. And if I bring this straight out, and the other world to save, that is basically telling me, uh, you are at a point where you need to really think about finishing this video. Come on, autosave. Any time now. And as soon as you're done, I shall finish this off. Connect up the last bits and say that is somewhat finished. Obviously, there is the next section to go, and then the section after that, and then the section after that, and so on and so forth. But, oh, that was too much. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. Perfect. And let's me go ahead and create a double track here for this section and then bring it back down to a single. I mean, construction not possible. There we go. Actually, I won't bring it down to a single. No, on this side, it is OK. It's just some bits that I am a little bit more concerned about. So. Before ending this video, I'm going to neaten some of these. So from there to here, equalize that. Better? No, wait. Even better idea. From there to here, equalize that. There we go. That is a little bit better, I would say. It isn't too deep, it doesn't cut too far, but that is somewhat better. And I'll have to work out how this bit works. Then over here, we've got this uphill section. I'm okay with this. Perhaps just neaten up here to here. Equalize, please. This is a great mod. There we go. That, that's okay. I, I think that could be, could be reasonable. I shall go ahead and create that. And do you know what? Uh, where is it? You. Why can you not get rid of that? I'm going to have to get rid of it. 
There, there is really no option. No other option. Right. This bit is a little too wobbly for my liking, so I will fix that. To make it less wobbly. Nope, that hasn't worked. So it's done the exact same thing. Uh, what, why have you done that? Is it because this corner isn't quite at the angle you'd, you'd want it? Is that what it is? How about there? Would that not quite? There. It's a 54 mile per hour corner now. We shall... Right, I shall have to do something about that. But that is the first section completed of, of the Rival Railway. And this won't be too bad because, what, that has taken me an hour. If I make some of these farms off camera and do up to Taunton, that will be the next video. Then we'll do up to Chagford. Uh, was it going to go up to Chagford or was it going to go up to Stratford? I think we were going to do a line up to Stratford because you're going to do Chagford to Stratford. Um, and then, or was that going to come back down to Sudbury? Which I could do as well because I could essentially split the track and go off in this direction and then up these hills. Which could be an interesting, could be an interesting one to do. But the next thing that I definitely have to do is get the bit Taunton done. So off camera, I shall go ahead and fill up a number of these. Maybe not all of them, but certainly if I get this this entire section done, this section here, then on camera all we've got to do is this block over here, and then build build in the line. And the line from Sudbury to Kingsbridge, from Kingsbridge to Taunton, is going to looks like it is going to be a little bit easier to lay than no it isn't that is a complete and utter lie we're going to have to do something again i really do not want it on this side so would i peel it off on this side and then try to do something interesting around the hill i'll have to i'll have to think about that um i would say no, actually, that this could work. If you leave your ideas in the comments box, I'm not going to record straight away. So I'll read, I'll read the ideas, and then I'll try to record this a few days before the next episode is supposed to come out. Therefore, I should have any of your suggestions and see what I can do. But as I said off camera, in the meantime, I will fill out this so that I do not have to do that. Once we've done that bit and perhaps connect up to Chagford and Stratford, then I will do all the detailing on it. And once all the detailing's done, I shall get trains running, we'll make a depot. Um, we could have the, the Kingsbridge Depot or something. Just here, this, this area could become the Kingsbridge Depot. Um, it seems fairly flat. So I could do all of that with, with this and get trains running and have a complete rival section after that i want to do something with coal I, I i think i need to really work on getting these coal lines up and running across the map doing doing things because coal was a very important part of this era steam trains needed it you need it for fuel you needed it for a lot of things um so i think I shall have to work on the coal. Set this running. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try to find a a thumbnail before we end. Uh, let me see. That is not the kind of thumbnail I would like. Nor is that. Am I not going to have a decent thumbnail? Is that what is going about to happen here? There's no chance at all for a decent thumbnail. Um, okay, it shall have to be over here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos 
on transports fever 2 the uk modded series leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think any ideas you may have as i said if you can do so please do consider supporting me on patreon www.patreon.com slash ec gadget your supports would be massively appreciated it would really really help me out and also you can find me on social media at ec gadget lp for both instagram and twitter that is all from me uh, actually there is one other thing if you want to join my discord server link to that also in the description box below now that is all from me i shall see you next time in transports fever 2 the uk modded series where well, as i said we shall bring the railways to taunton and then see where we can go from there i'm just having a look at these roads and seeing if they are suitable let me change this little bit here this road seems okay yes i think it's just that little bit there that i'm going to change but anyway that is for me to do off camera so i shall see you next time <laughs>